everyone. Welcome back to the Tulsa Trucker. My name is Chuck and I want to thank you for hitting that play button. Well, right behind me is a 20, a brand new 2020 Volvo VNL. Uh, this is actually a truck that Prime is uh, starting to test right now to see if it's uh, something they want to put in their fleet. Uh, from my understanding, they have 25 of these. Uh, they're really big in the Freightliners, the Internationals, the Peterbilts. Um, as of right now, but they're looking to be adding this maybe in the future depending on how things go with their contracts. Um, but I am a student here at Prime Inc. and this is Wednesday uh, the 15th, May 15th, and I wanted to just kind of give you an update as far as you know how uh, school is going, what you can kind of expect. I've had some people ask me a few questions. Uh, one of the biggest questions that I had is Chuck about the testing. Um, is it stressful uh, when you go down and get your permit? It can be if you're not ready to go. If you haven't, go watch my videos uh, where I talk about the pre-trip and I talk about uh, using CDL prep to get you ready to pass your permit test because Prime will take you down to uh, the DOT office uh, or the DMV, I should say, and down there they will is where you will test out. Now, it can be kind of stressful. There's a ton of people in there. It's noisy and you're reading questions and every time you miss one, it shows you. And as you start getting down, there's four different areas that you have to uh, test in. It's general knowledge, combination, air brakes, and tanker. Now the combination, you will get 50 questions. You can only miss uh, 10. If you miss the 11th one, you fail. Now you can take the test twice per day. You will begin taking those on Tuesday, and then you can take them on Wednesday and as well as Thursday and Friday. If you don't have it by then, um, you, you may be going home. But they do have study guides. Uh, they have classes that start on Wednesdays at five for those who have not passed those tests. And believe me, Prime does everything they possibly can to get you ready for these tests if you haven't self-taught uh, self yourself. Uh, as we come around the corner here, hopefully it's not too windy, but we've got some of the trucks that are here usually at night this is pretty packed full of drivers um, a lot of them uh, if they come into town they're waiting on loads uh, maybe they're here having something done over at the uh, millennial building and they may come over here and spend the night or uh, maybe they're you know getting into town here getting ready to pick up a student now one thing that I've really enjoyed about my experience here at Prime so far is they are very uh, they're very safety driven. They're not only so much do they want to teach you about these trucks, not only do they want to teach you about um, you know how to take care of freight and do things like that, but they also want to make sure that you learn how to take care of you. I uh, went through a health, a health and wellness class uh, today and they went over, you know, you know, it was basically two hours, but the exercises you can do out on the truck, you know, what you need to be eating. Uh, and there's a great app that is out there that anybody can use. You don't have to be a trucker, but it's called, uh, I believe it's called Health Health Online, I believe is what it's called. I'm gonna have a little video running here where you can see it. You can go and download it. And basically, let's say you're, no matter where you're at, when you pull it up and you go into doctor visits, it will pull up doctors that are actually in your area and you'll see them there. And maybe, let's say you've got the flu. Let's maybe say that you've got really bad allergies and you're in Colorado and you know, your home doctor's way back in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And you know, you, you can't get a prescription or you can't get a visit. You don't want to have to go to an ER and be overcharged. You don't want to have to, uh, you know, stop at maybe one of the clinics or something like that because there's nowhere for you to park your truck or just you. Maybe you're on vacation yourselves. You can go into this app and you will actually talk to a doctor via video chat and you can tell them your symptoms. You can tell them what kind of problems you're having and then they will actually at that point, you know, write you a, a send a prescription to a local pharmacy, maybe a CVS, maybe a Walgreens or something like that to help you with whatever it is that you're dealing with. And the charge is relatively inexpensive. It runs $49. Uh, there are some insurance companies out there that they can bill and they you just pay your copay. Uh, so that's a really great resource for anybody, whether you're a truck driver or you're just, um, you know, just it's great to have on your phone if you, if you need it to get a prescription for something. Now today being Wednesday for me, I have passed everything that needs to be passed and then uh, basically all I have to do is I'm gonna be testing out on my sim class later this evening and then uh, tomorrow we're just gonna start the you know wrapping up of everything once you've passed everything your background check your drug tests um, all those types of things so I've got all of that stuff done and they do have our trainers that are supposed to be coming in here on Friday 
and we're going to start doing some uh, some stuff out on the pads with them from what we've been told and then it looks like we'll be leaving or you know once you get your trainer you actually take off and you start your PSD phase and that's basically going to be I've got my permit I'm going to be out for two weeks or so with a trainer in one of these trucks he's going to be teaching me everything from pre-trips to uh, you know how to deal with uh, you know shippers and receivers but the main thing is getting you ready for your CDL testing uh, learning how to back up uh, learning how to, again like I said the pre-trip and then also you know you're getting that driving experience out there on this road so that when you come back and take your driver's test you're ready to go uh, so that's kind of the next step for me and that will again kick off I've really uh, you know coming prepared guys is huge I can tell you there are people there right now that are still studying. There's people that are having to take tests. There's people who are failing tests. There's people who are just stressed out about things. Um, and it doesn't have to be that way because, you know, you get what you put into anything. And, you know, I would just encourage you, if you're thinking about getting into truck driving, that, again, you follow uh, kind of my plan and getting prepared to come here. Already know all this information before you get here because all the guides and everything are already out there for you. Again, if you haven't seen that, go check out my videos on what documents you need to bring, um, you know, what kind of clothing you might need to bring, all of those types of things. But guys, I want to thank you so much for stopping by the channel, and I'll begin to uh, still update you as this journey goes along. It's going to be a, an interesting journey for sure, but I'm looking forward to sharing it to anybody out there who wants to watch. Again, all my Corvettes 918 family, I, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, you. you your prayers and your comments in the sections, it's help, it's really uplifting knowing that you guys are out there and um, you know, I've got somebody to bounce some things off of. There's, I know there's several of you that have, uh, that are truckers. I didn't realize how many truckers followed my channel, but a lot of you do and I appreciate you so much. I thank you for your words of encouragement, your words of wisdom, things that you would recommend uh, and I'm taking all those things to heart. So guys, until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember this, life is short, make it sweet.